Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to talk about a few chemical engineering companies, uh, best to my knowledge, that do offer summer internships. Yes, this was uh, asked by one of our subscribers over the comment section. One of the ladies uh, asked this question that uh, uh, talk about a few companies that do offer good uh, summer internships uh, to candidates. And today we are up with that. We are up with a few uh, chemical engineering core companies names that do offer uh, summer internships to third year students and second year students, mostly third year UG students, chemical engineering students uh, and often convert them into PPOs as well. PPOs means pre-placement offers that before the placement season starts in your college, uh, the company that you have done your internship in, the same company is going to provide you a pre-placement that is they will uh, give you the confirmation uh, letter uh, in their company as a full-time employee uh, before the placement season even uh, starts off. So it's a relief, uh, you don't need to sit for the placements uh, twice if you are already up with the PPO from the company that you have done an internship in. So it's very important that the third year students focus on this and uh, there are few, very few companies, particularly in our college in our stream chemical engineering uh, only seven students out of a batch of 86 were taken for internships in our batch that is 2018 2019 we are passed out of 2019 but when we were in third year we were 2018 and when companies came on campus three cam companies came on campus and they hired only seven students uh, uh, from the campus itself uh, for a paid internship program and uh, uh, one uh, six out of them converted the PPO. I, I was the only one who didn't convert the PPO. Um, six out of the seven converted the PPO. So the PPO conversion ratio uh, of internships can also be very good if you justify the uh, work that you have done in your internship. So uh, coming straight away to the companies that we are going to talk about which provide paid internships to uh, third year students uh, so that you can focus more on those companies uh, on campus and off campus. Uh, best to my knowledge again these are not the top five or top six companies uh, these are the best to my knowledge companies other companies also do offer but these are the companies that have come to our college what I have heard from sources from other colleges that they have come uh, to hire uh, third year students from other colleges as well uh, offering them a good bit of stipend so we are going to talk about the stipend we are going to talk about the selection procedure and we are going to talk about the companies so uh, first coming to the first company that offer uh, internships is Honeywell India yes Honeywell UOP uh, do offer internships to third year students and uh, do convert PPOs to a few of them as well. Uh, they have been um going through this procedure since the last three to four years. Unfortunately, they have not visited our campus this year, uh, but uh, they initially visited us in 2018-19 they have hired candidates and they have converted PPOs as well uh, so you can expect uh, them to come on campus and hire you and now the stipend that Honeywell uh, UOP offers you when you are in their internship is about uh, 25,000 yes 20 to 25,000 initially it was bargained at 18 to 20,000 then the uh, stipend increased to 22 or 25,000 I'm not exactly sure about the figure but it lies in the range between 20 and 25,000 per month and it's a two month internship so about 50,000 uh, stipend you can expect in two months from Honeywell UOP. Now coming to the next company that uh, has visited in our campus and visits in many campuses as well and they have started this procedure since the last two years only. Uh, earlier they only used to hire full-time employees now they are hiring interns and converting them to PPOs plus they are hiring full-time employees so it's Reliance India yes uh, um, Reliance Petrochemicals uh, to be very precise if we talk about the chemical engineering company only it's Reliance Petrochemicals and they hire about uh, a chunk of students uh, last year you know uh, 2019 they hired uh, about nine or ten students and all of them trust me all of them got a ppo apart from that they hired about 10 students on campus full-time employees so about 20 22 people were selected by reliance itself out of a batch of 85 uh, uh, 10 were converted to ppos 9 or 10 were com converted ppos and the rest of them got a full-time employee when reliance came uh, on board in 2019 uh, 2020 so uh, it's like um, uh, for the 2020 batch this is what i'm talking about just my junior batch immediate junior batch so the stipend that reliance offers to its uh 
in terms is uh, 20,000. Now, uh, unfortunately, Alliance has also not visited this year for internship program. Uh, now, this might be a one-time thing, uh, might continue from next year because the conditions are adverse this year. As we all know, due to COVID-19, the hiring numbers have decreased. So they might continue with the process next year. But uh, in 2019, for the 2020 batch, they hired interns and in bulk and converted them uh, to PPOs as well. So they do hire interns and they have recently started the procedure so uh, lately it started the procedure definitely so uh, uh, 20k is what they offer per month again a two months internship so 40,000 is what you can expect as a stipend from Reliance internship now uh, having said this uh, going to the next company the next company that do or provide internships on campus is uh, Halda Topso but very difficult uh, to bring them uh, to your campus fortunately we have been fortunate enough to bring Halda Topso to our campus now let me tell you people do know Honeywell UOP they are a design consultancy for uh, oil industries uh, particularly we know how is petrochemicals they are petrochemical uh, unit as the name suggests petrochemical manufacturing industry uh, Hal the top so is a catalyst provider as well as a consultancy com company for particularly for the catalysts uh, or the reactors uh, or uh, the design um, particularly this uh, they, are, they have a diverse sector of other uh, dimensions as well. Uh, Halatops is a very renowned company when it comes to uh, catalysts and uh, catalyst providers, uh, manufacturers. Um, so they have quite a bit of patents to their name as well. So it's a very renowned company to work with, uh, particularly for the oil refineries, uh, they do work. Other dimensions also are there. So uh, Halatopso offers a stipend of uh, about a uh, 20,000 uh, if I'm not wrong 15 to 20,000 uh, per month once again uh, a two month internship I guess uh, so about uh, uh, again uh, 35 40,000 uh, range stipend for two months from Hala Topso. Now coming to the fourth company that I would like to talk about is Swiss India. Yes, Swiss India has this trend of hiring interns and converting them into PPOs that do not generally hire full-time employees. They have been coming to our campus for the last uh, two to three years and they have been following the same procedure. They've been coming from our batch. They hired three candidates from our batch and uh, all of the three were uh, given PPOs. They hired three candidates from our immediate next batch. Unfortunately, uh, they didn't get the PPO. Uh, uh, due to several reasons maybe uh, I am not very sure about those uh, but yes this has been the trend of Swiss India with other colleges as well they do co go to colleges they hire interns they train them uh, they rigorously make them uh, undergo a procedure of two months where they learn about the company principles learn about the company working and finally they are confirmed a PPO there uh, yes the uh, salary at the end of the day is uh, little lower than average uh, chemical engineering core companies uh, but having said that work satisfaction is a different issue altogether as i've already stated in earlier videos as well so swiss india is a is, is not that bad a company uh, to to work with uh, so uh, swiss india as far as uh, i know again offers a stipend of about uh, 15 to 20 thousand uh, 20 thousand i think uh, for uh, a month or so, uh, so it's about again thirty to forty thousand range of stipend uh, per annum. Uh, sorry, uh, for two months straight away in your internship. So, uh, uh, Swiss India gone. So uh, the fifth company that I would like to talk about is Vedanta Resources. Yes, the Vedanta Resources didn't come on campus for our college for hiring interns. They hired full-time employees from our college. But Vedanta do visit other NITs and IITs uh, for uh, internship offers. They do provide internship offers and do convert them into PPOs as well. We have our fellow colleagues that have been confirmed PPO after their internship. But the stipend in Vedanta Resources during the internship period is low, relatively low. It's uh, 10,000 per month, so it's 20,000 for a period of two months of uh, summer internship. But the workload is also very low, and you have a good chance of converting the PPOs. Uh, they hire from IITs and NITs mostly uh, interns, and uh, also they go for the full uh, full time employees uh, all over India, or all the colleges, all the renowned uh, TIR A or TAD B colleges. Uh, they do hire from, and uh, interns they only hire from NITs and uh, IITs, uh, which they convert uh, PPOs. Um, so they, had a, they, they offer a stipend of 10,000 per month. So this is another company that uh, 
uh, provides internship. Now the sixth company and the final company that provided internship in our batch and the batch earlier. After that they didn't visit our campus but they hire all over India from the NITs and IITs. A very few candidates, a selective few candidates from each of the colleges like all over India in our uh, when we were selected as interns only 14 people from all over India were selected uh, out of which four were confirmed PPOs. Uh, that is PepsiCo India. Yes, PepsiCo India hires interns and convert PPOs but the number is very less throughout India, Pan India, they hire about 14 to 20 candidates, 15 to 20 candidates from all over India. If max to max in 2018 or 17 uh, reports, as far as I know, they hired about 20 to 25 people uh, all over India, but that is also a very small number. So they hire a selected few candidates from a selected few branches like food engineering and chemical engineering, the ones that they do particularly require and uh, the stipend is also very very good very staggering a number 32,000 per month so it's about uh, 64,000 uh, in a two months internship period that's what you get uh, to work as an intern for uh, PepsiCo India but converting a PPO in PepsiCo India is a little difficult and I uh, I'm very unsure about the exact uh, statistics that they look for while converting the PPOs uh, there is always a final presentation in each of the companies that I've talked about there is a final presentation on which the judgment parameters are whether you are going to get the pre-placement offer or not. Uh, they have a good bit of salary to the full-time employees that do get pre-placement offers. And full-time employees, PepsiCo India, I'm not very sure whether they hire, but definitely the interns that they hire are converted to PPOs. They hire full-time employees as well, but recently from 2018 or 19 onwards, they have started this procedure of hiring uh, interns and then converting them to PPOs because companies mostly when they offer internships, they mostly focus on building a student over the two months period around the uh, work culture around, uh, around and along the company principles so that the vision of the candidates do go hand in hand with the company's vision in uh, long term. They understand the working procedure of the company. They understand the principles, the disciplines of the company. And then when they are given the uh, given to work finally in that company, they can straight away join duty and uh, prove how dynamic they are. They do not need a one year period to learn the procedures because they already have brushed up themselves over those. So it's an investment that the company makes to uh, build up a candidate for a longer run, uh, build up a career for a longer run that will help the company uh, go through several uh, barriers uh, if they understand the process in the initial bit. And people who think that the PPOs are important, the pre-placement offers are important, they put in a lot of effort to grab it or bag it home and convert it. Uh, so these are the few companies, core chemical engineering companies that do offer internships as far uh, to my knowledge. Other than that, there may be several other companies uh, that might be there that do offer good chemical engineering offers on campus and off campus. But these six companies that I've talked about, uh, let us re Capsulate all of them. Uh, first is uh, I told about Honeywell UOP, uh, then Reliance India, then Halda Topso, uh, then PepsiCo India, then uh, Swayze India, uh, and Vedanta Resources. So these are the six companies that I've talked about that offer internships because I know for sure that they do hire candidates and do convert PPOs as well. That is why I've told about them. There may be several other companies that might be hiring off campus or organizing walk-in interview for core companies, but. Uh, as far as my knowledge is concerned, these are the six companies that are very good in terms of internship offers and converting them to PPOs as well. Other than this, if you go into the non-technical profile, there are several other companies that might be hiring chemical engineers or uh, any engineer in that regard. There is definitely uh, TCS is there, there is definitely Amazon, there is definitely Samsung. So if you know coding or if you are involved in G-Shock, if you have done Google Code of Summer, if you have those experiences of coding or you are extensively a coder, even being a part of the code engineering branches because I've known many students. Uh, in fact, I have been also uh, an extensive coder till my second year of college uh, because I enjoyed coding and many people do enjoy coding and they extensively practice coding. I particularly know, for a matter of fact, uh, a candidate that secured both Samsung and Amazon offer being an electrical engineering student and not doing so good in electrical engineering. So he mostly focused on uh, developing codes and he was mostly up in coding and he always looked for a career in this field. So if you are going for non 
technical companies and non core companies these are the few companies that you can always aim for they are uh, walk in they conduct walk in interviews and if you are good enough credible enough you are going to bag a job there but it, it's difficult definitely it's difficult because it's a walk in interview and everyone is allowed to sit so it's always going to be difficult you need to prove your bit you need to have your bit of profile uh, other than that when we come to analytics company mu sigma ZS is there. ZS also offers uh, internships and convert them into PPOs. They go on campus for offering internships. There is one non-technical uh, aspect, uh, non-technical company that do hires all types of engineers as well, and they, they offer them PPOs as well, as far as uh, my knowledge is concerned. So uh, these are the few uh, companies that do hire candidates. Now talking about the selection procedure of the companies, the selection procedure are almost the same for all the companies. Yes, almost the same flat throughout for all. The companies they uh, do hire an aptitude round thereafter followed by a GD round and finally by a PI personal interview round. Now for many uh, companies, so for for a few companies, the GD round might be missing. There is straight away an aptitude round and then a um, uh, final HR fit round or uh, HR round. Uh, uh, that is personal interview round and uh, many companies might have a more rigorous procedure of having a technical interview round like Honeywell has technical interview then a final HR interview so there might be four rounds uh, now many companies do not have a aptitude test there is a psychometric test for PepsiCo India there is no aptitude test it's a psychometric test to test your personality so there the several companies have several other procedures I have already made a few videos on the internships uh, interviews or the uh, full-time employee interviews that I have appeared for I have made a separate playlist so just go in there and uh, check out those uh, so uh, that I think uh, will conclude it for today I hope the lady that was asking the question that um, things are clear as far as my knowledge was concerned I've shared all that I could so I conclude it for today um, next week we will be bringing a technical topic once again um, so uh, that's it for today if you liked our work like it share it subscribe to our channel and uh, thank you very much